we do now after Voyager? Is there life after Voyager? And many of us who'd spent 12 years working on Voyager data wondered if there was life after Voyager. Um, and the answer is yes, of course, there is. There's lots of interesting things we can do. Uh, perhaps the most important thing is to look at what Voyager did not do. It did not visit Pluto and the Pluto Sharon system. It didn't visit Charon, this exciting ast uh, comet asteroid, um, the outer solar system. It didn't visit the Trojan asteroids. It didn't stay and monitor the um, environment around the giant planets. It just took a snapshot. It didn't probe the atmospheres, it just flew by. We don't really know what the composition is of, of, of the atmospheres and what makes, particularly, we don't know why, what's the red stuff in Jupiter's and, and Saturn's atmospheres. When we didn't map the magnetospheres, we just flew through once each time. And so there's a lot of, of important things to do in the outer solar system. And that gets, to my gets me to my final point. I'd like to talk a lot more about, about um, possibilities of exploring the outer solar system. But the important point I want you to come away from this, this seminar is that Voyager was a, a unique opportunity to go to these giant planets because of the alignment. But secondly, we will never have another Voyager, not just because of that alignment, but because it was a huge, big, expensive project. These projects get bigger and bigger and more and more expensive every time. It's not that we aren't capable technically of doing these things, but we're going to have to face some very real financial issues in the next decade or more. Okay? So these grandiose ideas of going to comets, getting, getting um, material, bringing it back, flying and having orbiters around all the outer, outer um, planets is, is just a dream that I'm afraid is not going to happen in our lifetime. And what we have to do is completely change, get away from Voyager, forget Voyager, not because it was bad, of course it was glorious, but to think about ways of going to the outer solar system cheaply. And there are many ways in which you can do this. You're not going to have 11 instruments. You're not going to have the data taking capability of Voyager. But remember those nine pictures of Triton that completely changed our view and gave us an incredible amount of information about Triton, that one object in the outer solar system. And what I, um, I just wanted to, to throw up um, a picture here um, of how we can use going to Jupiter to do a variety of things. One is to go to this object Chiron, very interesting object. One is to go to Uranus and go to Uranus when it's uh, at a different alignment. I'll just show you that in a second. And another is to go to Pluto. We must go to Pluto and we have to do it in 2002 because we have to go past Jupiter and it does that, that only happens once every 12 years. And we have to get there before about 2015 when the atmosphere of Pluto will collapse because Pluto will then be moving away from the sun. Its tenuous atmosphere will collapse and that the, uh, will freeze out to form frost and ice and that atmosphere will not regenerate for hundreds of years, hundreds, more than 100 years. Because remember, we have an orbital period of 248 years. This won't happen for another three generations. So we have to do it, and we have to do it soon. However, there's a political problem of trying to sell a um, mission that will have a 14-year cruise, will not return information for 14 years, and when it does, it'll be a half-hour flyby with a handful of pictures. So you can't have an $865 million project, such as Voyager, with 11 instruments and so on and so forth. We have to send out just a camera and maybe a UV instrument and a plasma instrument. Three instruments cut back our scientific desires to have more and just send it out and take those, those 10 pictures before the atmosphere collapses and we lose the chance for three generations. But there's an enormous reluctance in NASA at the Office of Space Science and Applications and amongst a lot of scientists and the engineers at JPL and uh, other places to think about small missions, sending gas can type instruments out to the outer solar system. The scientific returns are enormous 
Um, but we have to completely change attitudes towards risk taking, towards systems, towards the whole planetary exploration business. Well, I'm sorry, I've run way over time, um, but uh, that's it. Thank you.